restart the server. And now everything is secure. And it just says unknown because I don't have an FTP server running. Okay. Now another thing we need to do is setting up that password for the XAMPP directory only did it for the HDDocs directory. So we need to recopy this folder over to Tomcat, Web Apps, just paste it, copy and replace and do it for all. And we need to do that because that little security option to change the password that we went to for in the on the XAMPP page was set up to do it by default for the htdocs directory because that's the default directory for the Apache server. And as you can see, I moved the XAMPP folder to the Tomcat Web Apps directory and changed the default root to the server to be that as well. It sets up these passwords in an htaccess file that you can see here. But it's encoded, so you can't, you know, edit it manually for security reasons, obviously. Okay. Now we're going to stop MySQL and, Ap and Apache. Now we're going to work on getting the Tomcat server to integrate with it. Now we're going to go to Apache, Configuration, and Extra. Now we're going to go to the modjk configuration file. Modjk is an add-on that allows Apache to handle certain types of requests and the Tomcat server to handle certain types of requests. As you can see, they have it set up by default to have certain servers served by uh, and certain file types to be served by a Tomcat using these JK mount statements. Now, I only like for one directory to be served by Tomcat and everything else to be handled by Apache. And the reason why I just don't put .jsp for just to handle just the JSP files because is in a lot of cases, JSP files act as web pages and they need access to other types of files as well like GIF, JPEG. And if you try to do it with just, just .jsp, they won't have access to those files. And let's say I want, and uh, this ha corresponds to a path inside your web apps folder. Like this one will be examples. Let's say I want to create a web app called Josh. And I wanted Tomcat to handle all the requests inside that folder. So I would do this save this configuration file. Go back to the Tomcat folder, Web Apps, new folder, call it Josh, and we're going to put a little test JSP file in this folder. It's got this code and it just um hello the time is now and it'll use a Java function to spit out the date for you. And it's gonna have a link to a little PHP file that I'm gonna keep in another folder inside the web apps directory to show you that Apache will handle all the requests outside of that folder, which is what allows the PHP to function. I like having uh, all the PHP files in another folder because if I didn't, I'd have to get really complicated with those JK mount statements and, you know, have Tomcat handling every file type that's up PHP. I think it's just much simpler to keep your PHP files in another directory. So I'm going to copy this to that Josh Web Apps folder. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to create another folder in the web apps directory for PHP. And open that. 
of another PHP file that just called test.php that just does PHP info, shows you everything about your PHP version. And I'm going to close that and copy it to the folder. And paste it in there. I'm going to go back to XAMPP and I'm going to start Apache a different way this time. I'm just going to use the batch file to start Apache. It's the same thing the, as the control panel. Just starts it using the batch file. And I'm going to start Tomcat using the Tomcat underscore start batch file. You could also install these as services and have them starting up every time you start your computer. And as you can see, Tomcat started OK. Let's go back to our browser. And we're going to go to that little JSP file that I put in there. Localhost specialist Josh specialist test.jsp. Hello, the time is now, August, and the date. The link to the little PHP page. Let's see if it works. And it takes you to the PHP page that I created. Shows you exactly what PHP version we're using, all that. And now you have Tomcat and Apache working together so you can use PHP, HTML, JSP all in the same server and folder structure. This has been a tutorial by Josh. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, give me a high rating and subscribe and send me some messages or some comments if you want to see some more videos.